Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! Ah! Ah! Oh! If you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. Then you're the star of my show, kid. Looks like it needs a candle to work.
everything under control there, Becky? Ah! Why did you say that? What have you heard? She really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey, I guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? <laughs>
Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! Sunshine! The spirit of her youth! Played tonight, once again, by Bonita Soleil! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me! Not again! <gasps> the Phantom! I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse, improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one place. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. 
one and a half stars. Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway into taste. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just lay it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Great joy, for spring has we satin upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering. Dad, I never knew. He was...
brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow. boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approaching through yon tunnel.
sorry. No mail for you, ugly girl. Von Guten? Yes! Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self! Yeah! <laughs> 
worry, for I believe I see them floating here now in a magical balloon. Hey, feel the magical balloon, moron. Hey, there's no magical balloon on this set, but that won't stop me from jumping down there and kicking your ass. So watch it. School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wahaha! -ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Becky, can you hear me? It must be out of range. Oh, 
girl? Well, my family has left me alone in a bad, bad place for many years. And I don't know if they will ever come back for me. Oh, uh, I don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you when you'll never have to think of that bad place again. Ever. My dear, beloved daughter, we have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yay! The end. Excuse me, Mr. Rolls, but do you have any more scripts? Ah, you've tasted excellence, and now you're back begging for another bowl of quality theater? Not really, but I think that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks and fight the Phantom. Well, unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest. Just dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway. So, give up.
not welcome here. Hip! Hip! This is my Hip. sanctuary. Hip! I see you down there. Look out below! <laughs> Watch your step. Stop, or your next step will be your last! Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. Hey. 
Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What? I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never... How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> mm, how can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Horns! 
hot beam of hot to kill him before he gets over here! What I gave your brother over there, huh? How do you like that? Your moves are terrific and mechanical. Man! Ha ha! Number on the spotlight. I'm not good another. enough. Now, how can I light that? Ugh, it's like my retinas are being broken. Did you all good write us in the review when you killed that kid with the goggles? <laughs> Recognition for my acting talent. 